Welcome. You may consider yourself an amateur when it comes to EMF, and you've just purchased the TM190 by Tenmars, or maybe you're contemplating getting one. Let me just explain to you what you might be missing out on if you didn't also do this course. Excellent. You are curious about EMFs. And there's enough to be worried about. The amount of research that EMFs are a serious health burden is mounting. I congratulate and compliment you for taking the bull by the horns and taking action to enabling yourself to improve your exposure. No doubt you and your loved ones will be better off for it. There are various radiation types found in homes. Radiation from wireless technology, like phone towers, smart meters, Wi-Fi, radar, airport navigation equipment, etc. Also, electricity plays a major role. Power supply going past your home, to your home, within your building, the wiring, the appliances, lighting, it can all contribute. It is rare to find a home without EMFs, and so action must be taken to change this, especially in the bedroom, as this is the place where the body is meant to rest and regenerate. All right, so this is you know, our little demonstration room. You know, we've got a bed parked against the wall. Uh, we need typical sort of wiring inside the wall, and the typical sort of electric field exposure. It is great to be more aware of your exposure throughout the day and try to reduce that, but please realize it is the bedroom where things must be perfect, as any effort to reduce radiation there will have the most impact on health protection and recovery. The room has already been shielded with radio frequency radiation, but we need a bit of help with electric fields from the floor. My name is Patrick Vandenberg. I am an EMF radiation specialist. In this field, I'm an international speaker on EMFs and holistic ways to mitigate against them. I assist families, corporate high flyers, celebrities, and even royalty across the globe to optimize their environment and health. I'm involved across the world with various domestic and also commercial building projects. Here we are at the uh, building site here in Thailand. Where we wish to build without the common radiation problems that you can provide you know, a gorgeous sleeping environment the way it should be. Okay, so the good news about electric fields is that they can be shielded against by placing a grounded material in its path. And as an EMF assessment and mitigation instructor, I have educated hundreds of health and construction professionals as well as passionate people not involved in either of those fields who want to help their community by assessing homes and counseling on how to improve them. You did a great job, Mrs. Customer. Exceptional, as a matter of fact. I've worked with a lot of people, and you are by far the best one. I teach these one-week courses in a few locations around the world, as well as online. In this course, my aim is to give you a to-the-point summary of the issues involved in EMF assessment and mitigation from an amateur perspective, in order for you to understand more fully what it is you've developed an interest for. It won't be hours worth of lectures, but rather concise information about the research available and where to find it, the most important types of radiation we should be worried about, how to use the instrumentation of your choice, what can be done against which EMFs if you find too much exposure, what too much exposure is considered to be within our health-focused industry, and what issues you may need professional help with and what that may look like. Once you have course access and go inside, you find a well-organized structure of knowledge for you to access. I make use of many videos to explain or show you what I'd like to teach you, so just sit back and soak it up. The system will mark sections that you've completed, but you maintain access to everything as long as we keep hosting the courses here, and this course can become part of your course access collection within Teachable. This course may be expanded on in the future, and when this happens, you'll have automatic access to that content. So, in this course you find important information about EMFs, electronic pollution. We go over the use of the instrument and we go over mitigation options that may be available to you 
depending on what you find. Now, given the importance of the information that you wanted this meter to give you, the course is a small investment to make sure you can operate it a lot better. I thank you for your purchase and I trust you find what you need 